Hello everyone. Um, this coming Sunday would be Palm Sunday. So I thought I'd do a little message here for Palm Sunday. Um, it's mentioned in all four Gospels, and the passages in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are right here. I'll hold these up so you have a chance to write all four of them. Because the question I'm going to challenge you with today um, is going to actually require you to read all four Gospels and, and kind of see what all they have to say. Then you're going to go a few chapters down the road and, and look up another part to be able to answer the question I'm throwing out there. But these four passages, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, um, all talk about Palm Sunday and basically Jesus' triumphant entry. Now, obviously, as a pastor, I've, pre I've preached on Palm Sunday about the last 15 years. And as you put the four Gospels together and read the, the story, um, you'll see some repetition where they share some things. But you'll see um, some other information that one author um, highlights or points out that others don't. And it gives you a real good picture when you read all four of the Gospels. Now, I've seen, I've preached on the um, the part in the passage where Jesus tells the disciples where they can go find the the donkey and the fall of the donkey and and how everything was said as was just as the disciple as Jesus said as the disciples go and untie the donkey and how the owners come out and say where are you going with the donkey and they say the Lord wants it and he allows them to walk off with their with his donkeys and I always say you know how many of us if we try to go up and maybe take our neighbor's car and they say, what are you doing? The Lord wants it. Will they let you leave and, and take that car? So that's one part of the, the story you can look at and just uh, and see that. Um, you can talk about all the people coming out and laying down the, the palm branches and singing Hosanna and um, giving praise to the Lord as he enters Jerusalem. That's another thing that can be highlighted as you look at the four the four passages in the different Gospels. You can look at the Pharisees, um, how they're getting upset and are you know, kind of yelling to Jesus to tell the people to be quiet because they're committing blasphemy by um, you know, worship him like a, like a king, like, a, like the Son of God. And, and Jesus says, even if I tell them to be quiet, the stones would, would cry out. So that's another part of the triumph entry you can, you can focus on. You also can look at when Jesus arrives at Jerusalem and weeps. Um, weeps because they don't know what is coming. They don't understand who is arriving at the door. He also, in, in, in John, gives the prediction of the uh, Jerusalem being surrounded and overthrown, um, which is a prophecy that is fulfilled later. Um, so you can look at um, those, those passages and, and how that pictures the whole the, the whole arrival of Jesus in Jerusalem. And it makes it a, a really, by reading all four passages, you kind of get the whole picture. But one of the things I want to focus on today when I think of a question that is challenging is as you read these Gospels and you, you see the pictures coming together, um, the people laying their coats and their palm branches and, and singing Hosanna and praise, I want you to think about those individuals and all those who are out there singing praise, and the Pharisees who are getting upset, um, and we know within a week, um, Jesus is betrayed by Judas. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that when I do my Monday Thursday um, um, video, and you will be able to. I will be taking communion during that video, so you'll be able to take communion from home on the that Monday Thursday video. So we'll talk a little bit more about the betrayal of Judas there. But we know from this arrival, within a week, Jesus is rising from the empty tomb. But we see Jesus arriving. We see all these people celebrating. We know that he will um, be put to trial, um, betrayed by Judas, trial by Pilate. Um, and at the end of the trial, Pilate gives the option, as they do every year as, as the, at the Passover festival, which is the reason why Jesus is going to Jerusalem anyway, which is why there's a whole mass of people in Jerusalem at this time, is for the Passover festival. And one of the traditions of the Passover festival is for Pilate to release a prisoner. And he gives the option of releasing two, Jesus or Barabbas. Um, as you read the Gospels about the... Um, the trial at the end, you see that Jesus was being charged for leading a rebellion. 
And it's interesting. I shared it to, a couple of weeks when I was actually when we were actually able to preach uh, how Barabbas was actually guilty of leading a rebellion, and Jesus was actually um, being charged with leading a rebellion. And I compared that to the scapegoats um, of the Old Testament. But what I want you to think about the question I want you to ponder is after this trial, when they ask who to set free and they yell for Barabbas, and Pilate says, um, what should I do with Jesus, your king? And they yell, crucify him, crucify him. So the question I want you to ponder is this. Were the people who were yelling Hosanna and welcoming Jesus to Jerusalem the same people that were yelling, crucify him, four days later, five days later at the trial of Pilate? So I want you to read the Gospels, um, the four passages I laid out. Then you actually have to do a little bit of work on your own and look at the, the trial and the crucifixion and see, do you think they are the same people that welcome Jesus singing Hosanna or the same people yelling crucify him? I would love for you, on, if you're on Facebook, to use the comments in the Facebook under this video to just put your idea. I'm not saying there's a right answer or a wrong answer. Wayne and I discussed it and we kind of agreed to disagree or we're not really because you, you really don't know for sure. But I want you to read this and just think if you if you believe they are the same people, kind of put what evidence you have out there to support your belief that the people that were yelling Hosanna was the same people yelling crucify him. If you think they were different groups of people, what evidence in scripture do you have to support that? Um, I love to challenge people to read and dig in. So that's what this challenge is for Palm Sunday is to look through this and and kind of post your comments. I have uh, my view. Um, and uh, next time we can get together, feel free to ask me or email me. Um, I'm not on Facebook, so I can't comment directly to Facebook. But I have my view and I have no problem sharing it for those who, who are curious and want to ask. I'm not going to share it, though, until you have done some your own reading and and shared it on your own and, and come to your own conclusion and and you can support that. Um, I look forward to when we can meet again. It does look like it's going to be um, probably May at the earliest. Um, we'll keep posting updates as the leadership of the church makes decisions. Um, we ask that you continue to be safe. Continue to pray for those who are who are ill and bat battling this virus. Continue to pray for those who have lost their jobs or are currently unemployed and who are really um, worried and uncertain. There's businesses and everything that uh, are taking a, a, a big toll on this. Or, and I just there's a lot of uncertainty. So pray for that. Pray for those who are feeling isolated, alone, um, and antsy and, and panicky. Um, the unknown is is just so much to we can work ourselves up about just realize that our god is good we may not know why this is we're going through this now it may be five ten years down the road be, before we see this i'm hoping that when churches are able to come back together a lot of people who were scared or uncertain about their futures because they don't know jesus as their savior maybe come and join us and, and hear the message of the, the loving God, the, the one who promises eternal life. Until then, do your readings for the, this Palm Sunday. And I'm, I'm curious to hear what, what you guys think as far as that challenge. Until, until the next video, take care and be safe.